Okay. All right, is anybody here? Hopefully you guys will find me. Oh, yay, you're back. All right, so hopefully this will work. I had to go not on my Mevo, I'm on OBS. So um, hopefully this will work. Sorry guys. All right, so. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> okay, now the live probably will not work. So, um, whew, all right. Okay, so I'm, this is totally new tonight on this. So uh, hopefully this will work. Woo, no sound. You should have sound. Does everybody else have sound? Can anybody else hear me? Are you guys okay? Can you hear me? I, have, I think I have sound. All right. Woo. All right, let's try this. Two pictures. Yes, there's two pictures. Um, it's, um, it's the way this OBS is set up. So um, I'm going to move this down so you guys don't see me. You just see that. All right. Okay. okay. Yes. yes, two pictures. Yay, yeah, two cameras. Yeah, yeah this is the OBS, OBS system. system. Um, so, so it's, it's a little different setup. setup. Um, it, is, it is, like I said, this is on OBS, and, and it's different cameras. cameras. This is kind of my backup to my backup. To my backup. Um, so, you'll so you'll see me, and, you'll and then you'll see my, my table. table. So, so we're going to have to give this a try and see how it goes, so I apologize. Um... I don't know. It's kind of crazy. All right. All right. So, so we are going to, going to um, hopefully, hopefully you guys can hear me and it all goes well. All right. So we're going to use this um, square picture frame and we'll see how this goes. I don't know what's going on with the Mevo, but we're going to go with it. You know, that's what happens. So hopefully if you guys can share this. <laughs> We'll try again. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So I have my um, square frame. Do I need to move this over some? Let me move this over to make sure I'm not going to be out of camera. Okay. So this is a 14-inch square frame. And what I did was on the outer ring. Oh, no, I can't. You can hear me. Okay can't see your comments. All right. Okay. So hopefully this is working okay. You don't like the echo. Is there an echo? Let me see if this will take it down. Does that help with the echo? Hey, Susie Brown. Does that help with the echo? Let me know. Does that help? <sighs> okay. Is that is that better? Let me see. For some reason, the comments. Okay, it sounds better. Okay. All right. I apologize. I don't know what's going on with this, but we're gonna go with it. All right. So I have a 14-inch um, wreath frame, and what I did was on the outer ring here, and I'm going to have to get used to this. I might have to move it up a little bit. Sorry, guys. Um, on the outer ring here, I put them on the corners, and then um, two in between, and then on the inner ring, I put them on the corners, and one right in between. And for some reason, your comments are not going through right so I apologize that I cannot see your comments all right maybe I can see your comments over there all right so we're gonna go ahead and get started oh what a nightmare tonight I know Susie I'm so glad you caught me we are going to be using 21 inch mesh you don't hear an echo oh good okay we're gonna use 21 inch mesh I fixed it yay <laughs> 
I know I don't ever use this OBS program so I quick jumped on and tried to figure it out so hopefully <laughs> hopefully hey Susie hey Bev hopefully this will work all right we're gonna do the poof method <laughs> you can't see me you should be able to see my face in the little camera on the top and then um, my hands here so we're gonna go with it we're just gonna go with it okay so we're going to do 10 inch poo or we'll do 12 inch poofs okay you know this stuff it, <laughs> there's there's always some kind of issue so um, again I apologize hey Steven can you not see the little camera on the top with my face or no Hey Pat, I know it's um, it's just my my Mevo would not work, so we're winging it tonight, and I apologize, guys. So I'm gonna do 12 inch poofs with this um, square frame. So I know this is different. I I. I don't ever use this OBS, but I have it set up as a backup just in case. Well, just in case happen. I don't know what's going on with the Mevo. I think there's issues going on with it, so it's working great. Oh, good. Susie, can you see the two pictures, or is it just the bottom one? All right, again, we're doing 12-inch poofs. Bess is, oh, Bess, hi! Okay, so we have Bess watching tonight, and Bess, Bess, I saw your um, wreath that you made, your red and white wreath with your um, ribbon flowers. You did a great job, Bess. Thanks so much for watching. You are awesome. Oh, good, you can. Okay, Tanya, good. Turn your phone or device. I can't turn it because of the way um, it. There, I'm using um, cameras. I'm not using my phone. I know it's weird. Oh, look at that! There's a hole right in the middle of my mesh. That is really weird. Boy, oh boy, everything's going bonkers tonight. Well, luckily it's right in where I'm going to hold my. Oh, you do? You like this view? Well, we'll see what's going on with it. Ay, 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 ay. Good thing I had my iPad set up so I could see, um, so I could see. Oh, that's not going to cooperate. You like the two pictures? <laughs> oh, my. It's always something. I have, I have a feeling tonight's going to be one of those nights. Yes, it is. It is going to be one of those nights. All right, hold on. Let me uh, get this going here. See if I can get out of this. Nope. All right. Yeah, tonight is just not going to cooperate. It is just not going to cooperate. Yeah, I can't see your comments over here. I was seeing them on my tablet, and now, hey, Megan, and now I don't see them over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's my niece, Megan, if you guys remember. I made her the little baby boy wreath. Oh, okay, Debbie. Yeah, I've never seen that before. It's just, um, oh, my goodness. I think it's just going to be one of those crazy nights where everything that can go wrong is going to go wrong. But we're just going to go with it. We're going to roll with it, baby. So if you guys can like, share, and follow my page if you don't already, I would appreciate it. Oh, good. I'm glad. Oh, thanks, Megan. Everyone say hi to Bess. Bess is a friend of um, 
Sandra's and um, she is starting out making wreaths. I did make this wreath for him. Yes, ma'am. And I apologize again if I'm missing your um, your comments because they're not showing up here and it's um, just, it's, it's weird. So I'm looking over here, but they're not showing up there sometimes and I have to scroll down here. <laughs> it's just crazy. It's one of those crazy nights. I am making a Halloween wreath. <laughs> And it is fitting. Oh, you got it? Oh, good, Cheryl. Okay. All right, so we're back at the beginning. All right. Okay, so we're back at the beginning now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the bottom row. Thank you, Sherry. And we're just going to, and you don't want to tug on it, okay? So you're just going to gently pull it down, okay, and oh, this is going to drive me insane, you guys. Murphy's Law, I know, right? Yeah, her name is Bess. Everybody say hi to Bess, B-E-S-S. -S. All right, so we're going to do the same, oh my, we're going to do the same thing on the bottom row. Yeah, I know, right, Patricia? Oh, my. I think this is going to be an interesting night. Ah! Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> We're going to roll with it. And the mesh isn't cooperating. I think it's just one of those nights. Okay. Now, these are a little closer together, which is fine. No biggie. And we will probably go back and do the zigzag method, as you guys know, with, um, and I'd use the 21 inch poof method. <clears throat> Just to cover everything up. Oh, and if you guys could please remember Johnny. Um, in your prayers, Johnny is a member of my private group, and she is in the hospital. Um, she's not doing real well. They are moving her to a different hospital. She's having problems with her esophagus. Her esophagus is not working. Um, so she's being moved to a different hospital um, where a specialist can help her there. So please um, pray for her. Pray that these new doctors will um, help her. Hey, Janie. Hey, Beverly. I am having a night. Woo, I am. It is one of those nights. Not nothing is going. Nothing is going right tonight. Ugh. Ugh. I have all these little things are coming out of my mesh. <laughs> I have stuff everywhere. Hello from Nebraska. How are you? Apple pips. You know what? I have not seen apple pips. Um, I know she's not doing well. So please, please, please keep Johnny in your prayers. She's a sweet, sweet lady. And just, she's had cancer several times and um, just not doing well. Yeah, I like the square forms too. It's just a little bit different. And I'm using the um, boot that I'm selling in my shop. And um, I'll show you, whoops. I'll show that to you, and I actually changed it up a little bit. Uh, 
And again, I apologize if I do not see your um, comments because I can't, for some reason, they're not scrolling and they're not coming up there. And ay, 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 ay. Hi, Anna. I am making a Halloween wreath. Please keep her in your prayers. And if I, I messaged her daughter today or on her phone, and um, that's what her daughter told me, that they're moving her to a different hospital. So, hey, Jackie from Florida. Yeah, I like to try the different, you know, wreath frames. I like the square ones. It just makes a little, you know, different look to it. And it's nice to try something new. We have, we have everything new tonight. New camera angles, new picture, new frame. <laughs> it's just one of those nights people but thanks for hanging with me <laughs> hey Lori how are you all right so we are back at the beginning Ugh. all right we are back at the beginning oh you haven't used them I like using them okay so I'm gonna untwist the first one okay and then we're going to um, if I can get it undone for some reason, it does not want to come undone. It's been one of those nights, you guys. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the crisscross method. Um, you can get them anywhere. You can get them from Craft Outlet. Any place that you can get frames from, you can do, you can get the, um, square ones from. So now I'm just going to do the crisscross method to fill in the little holes, you know, the little, and I don't measure those. I just kind of go back and forth to kind of fill it in. And these are going to be a little closer together because of the square frame. And hopefully we'll have enough mesh here to do that. Yeah, you can get them anywhere. And this is a 14 inch square one. Oh, this has strings all over it. Look at that. Not a good. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Yeah, I like the square frames. I do like to use them. I don't use them all the time, but I do like to use the square frames. Susie Brown, how's that carpenter coming? That one. Okay. So, you know, when you do the crisscross method, you just go from the top row to the bottom row to the top row to the bottom row. Same as you do on the round frames. Okay, so nothing different there. It's just a different, you know, different size, different shape. Hey, Deborah, how are you? And again, I apologize if I missed your comments. It's just with with this, the way it's going. I can't always see the comments. And it's just a crazy night. Okay. 
We are getting there. We had a heck of a storm last night. I don't know about you guys, but about 6 o'clock this morning, whew, the thunder and the lightning, it was crazy. You kind of want to make sure you find those twist ties so they don't get lost in your mesh because they will do that. we're going to have enough mesh to go around. I think we're on our last row. Maybe not. I don't know, you guys. It's one of those nights. <laughs> one of those nights. Life isn't uh, always perfect, and neither are our lives, right? Hey, Deb, how are you? And there's my the rest of that one. See how far it takes us. Oh, yeah, we're at the beginning, so we're good. We're good. Usually, when you use the crisscross method, it will um, you will use the whole roll, and it will cover the whole um, the whole frame. Yeah, it'll it'll work. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Because we're back at the beginning now, so it is going to be perfect. Because right here is where we started. We are making a <laughs> Halloween wreath. At least we're trying. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tuck that under. See, this is where we started right here. Okay, and I'm going to take a zip tie and zip tie that together so it doesn't come out. My word, even that zip tie doesn't want to stay in tonight. What's up with that? called everything that can go wrong tonight will go wrong. I'm getting it all out in one live. Okay, now I'm cut that off so it's not so bulky. Okay. Now. All right. Hey May, hey Linda, how are you? All right, so I'm just going to go back Fluff it out a little bit, find our zip ties, make sure we know where they all are. Okay. All right, so here is the witch's leg that I sell in my shop. I think I have two left. Now, this is not what they look like when I sell them. Where did I find them? Look, what I put them? Of course. There it is. This is what it'll look like when you get it, okay? Like this. But I kind of wanted to change mine up a little bit, okay? So this is what it looks like, all right? So what I did was I decoupaged the black and the white on there, and I put a little spider on there, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put it like this. So I use the frame this way, okay? 
Yeah, I can't. I'm sorry, guys, if I missed your comments. I'm really sorry. Hi, Rose. Okay, so um, straight on would be like this. The square is this way, okay? But I'm going to turn it this way, all right? And this is how I'm going to put my um, witch's boot on. So I do have two of these witch's boots left if anybody um, is interested in these, okay? This is how it will come. This, I changed it up. I decoupaged this black and white on here. But if you buy them, it'll look like this, okay? So now, what I did was I have some ribbons. I have the black and the white to match what I did on here to kind of match it anyway all right and I missed did I was there a question oh sorry and then I'm going to put these little kind of flower things on that I made okay aren't those cute all right so let me put this over here Okay, what I'm going to do, I cut these to 12 inches, all right, and I'm not necessarily going to put those other things in all of the, okay, so that's my ribbons. me crazy I know I know I'm sorry this is gonna drive me insane okay so what I'm gonna do I think is let's see and we made these in my private group last night So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap that around there. Oh, let me. Cut that off. Okay, use this and wrap that around. The sign, I sell them in my shop. I have two of those signs left. But the um, the sign will look like this. I just changed it up. I just, I decoupaged this um, black and white onto it. Okay. Look at that. I love that. Look how cute is that? All right. So I think I'm going to do that all around the exterior. On the interior, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I might do something different. So let's do the exteriors for now. Okay, yeah, so these um, signs are in my Etsy shop. I have two, I know I have two of those boots left. So the black and the um, orange ones are a little bigger. And then I made these little orange ones a little smaller. I think I made it with the, just the black ones in there. So 
that's what that looks like. Again, I apologize if I'm missing any of your comments. I'm finally feeling better, Pat. Thank you. And I cut the ribbons to um, 12 inches. Wait a minute. Hmm. I don't think I want to put that there. Let me change that. I may change that. Um, Linda, I actually uh, made those in my private group. I'm sorry, but those are um, in my private group. There's some things I kind of keep for my group, and that's one of them. Okay, so I need a black one. Oh, you can't see the split screen? I usually show you guys everything, but I'm going to keep some stuff for my group members. Okay. So I'm going to go through and do just the corners first, and then I'm going to come back and do the centers. And again, I apologize if I cannot read your comments. I'm not seeing all of them. I'm just having... A hot mess of a time in here tonight. Oh, they're both gone? Huh. They were there just before I came on my live. There was two in there right before I checked. Yeah, I'm having all kinds of issues tonight, Connie. I'm sorry. It has not been a good night. Oh, yeah, they sold. Uh, yep, they sold out. Sorry. Yep, the sign sold out. I, yeah, it, it's been a crazy, crazy night, Connie. I apologize. <laughs> Whatever can go wrong tonight was going wrong, so. Oops. Nope, I'm just going to use one. The other two actually were in my Etsy shop and they just sold. I had two left over and um, they sold. I may be able to get more. Um, so if anybody wants more, let me know. I can see if I can get more of those. <clears throat> I 
No, I'm just going to use one. Okay. Oh, thanks, Deb. Yep, Deb's in my private group, so she saw how we made these flowers last night. All right, so we have the four corners done, and then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go into... Oh, sorry. Sorry, Luann. It has been one of those crazy nights. I'm going to go to the middle section on the inner row. Hopefully you guys can see this. On the inner row here. I'm going to put those in. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of these flowers. Whoops! my ribbons going and then I'm going to cut that off a little bit and then tie them on and I'm just adding the twist ties to the twist ties that are there and twisting them together so that they're holding on there nice and tight Okay, there we go. Okay, sorry. Thank you. Um, the cameras are the, um, whoop, they're Logitech's cameras, the C920s. Um, so they're made for the, you know, you can use them for the for this. I'm using the OBS software. So that's why, like I said, and I very rarely ever, ever, ever use them. Hence why um, I kind of went, you know, tried to figure it out real quick. off a little bit all right and then I'm just going to take the two pipe cleaners here and I'm going to intertwine them so that they're going to hold on nice and tight and not fall off I made them. Yep, I made them in my group last night. Um, I taught my group members how to make them last night. down a little bit. And then we're just going to itch them to these pipe cleaners. Okay. 
All right, now, I don't know if I'm going to add other things here, or let's see. Let's put the little boot on and see if we feel like we need to add stuff or not. Okay, so I might add some... Huh, let's do it this way. All right. Put the boot there. All right, so, okay, let's get our boot attached and our little sign attached here. Move it down, put that like that. Now this is pretty thick, so I won't go through the wood with the, whoops, with the staples. So let's get our pipe cleaners out here. Okay. So I'm gonna add. Oops. <laughs> I grabbed my tape gun instead of my glue gun or my thing here. Thank you, Luann. Okay. Oh, don't tell me I don't have any staples. Oh, good night, Irene. See, everything that can go wrong tonight, guys. See, so those of you that are wondering about doing a live and worrying about stuff going wrong, it'll go wrong. It's okay. You just go with it. You just go with it. Okay. The witches. Yeah, that's funny. Okay. All right, so we'll put one here. That's funny. I like that, Bev. Smush my spider. I'm gonna smash my spider. And we will add some spiders too. And I might add one to the sign because we kind of don't want that floating all over the place. But I know that that's kind of thin. And I'll go through it if I try to add that there. Alright, let's do this first. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Let's add this in here. why I wanted to get the sign on because I don't want to cover up the flowers and that kind of stuff before we add anything else okay find our way through the mesh and get that hooked on there Okay. 
thank you, thank you, thank you for blessing my page. Okay, one more here. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, have the boot on. Get the spiders going. Where's your little sign at here? A little sign here. I need to attach that to there. Okay. Now. All right. Now. Let's see. I have some other spiders. I think I'll add. I should add some other stuff here. Let's see. I think we need more ribbon or let's see. What do you guys think? Let's hold it back and see. Can you see it? No. Uh, let's see here. I think we need to add more ribbon here. Okay, add some more ribbon down here, instead of adding all the flowers, maybe we'll add some spiders instead, or maybe we'll add some spiders just sitting on the mesh, I think. Let's give it a shot. just keep with the orange and the black and add some spiders here and there or do we want to add some other sp different colored spiders What do you think? I don't know if I want to add a bunch of more ribbon to it. Maybe just add, where did you get the black? Oh, the black mesh just came from um, Craft Outlet. I definitely need to do that. Hmm. Just I'm just experiment now, guys. Trying out some new things. Messing around with it. Seeing if we like it. The black mesh just came from um the the black mesh just came from um craft outlet. Let's see. Hey 
gal, no problems. No problems. It's all good. And a little more color to it. Let me try that. See, I'm adding the little bows to it to add a little more color. I think I want to do that. All right, so let me put those down here for now. And let me cut some of these. Sixteen inches. Okay, I think that's right. Hi, my mummy. Okay, and we don't need to dovetail them because we're just folding them in half. Okay. I got all of them. Oh, she likes Halloween? Yeah, I like Halloween too. I don't like the scary crazy weird Halloween stuff but I do like the, the cute Halloween stuff all right okay so all I'm gonna do is okay so for the two on here I'm just gonna take one of them fold it in half make a little bow Okay, I'm going to put one bow this way, facing up and down. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to do one bow and gather it together and take the pipe cleaner up and down and put it facing this way and it kind of will look like a little kind of like a little flower kind of type thing but with bows okay so then you have one facing up and down and one facing side by side get the twists going there make sure it's nice and good Okay, and that's what you have. All right, so we're going to do that on all of the ones around this way, on the bottom in the center. So do one up and down. Kind of fix your little loops. And then just overlap it, find your center, and gather it together. Oh, you got booted off? Oh, boy. Facebook is not my friend tonight. Mm 
not my friend tonight. <laughs> Okay, and again, I apologize if I am missing your comments, but um, for some reason I cannot see them all. It's just not cooperating. Not cooperating at all. So I cut these to 16 inches and I didn't dovetail them and I just folded them in half. I overlapped them a little bit and um, just folded them over and just kind of made little bows out of them and put one one way and one the other way to make it look like a little flower. Okay, and I'm putting that on the ones in the middle, like I have these on the ends and then there's two twist ties in the middle and I'm doing those on the end, on the middle. Thank you. Yeah, we made these in, um... <laughs> thanks Susie Brown. Can't wait to see you at Wreath Makers Live. Okay. Yeah, we made these orange ones in my group last night. I do save, you know, a few things for my paying members. That's what they pay for, me to teach them different things, so. Take these out of there. Thanks for sticking with me, you guys. I appreciate it. It's been one of those crazy nights. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know what's going on with my Mevo. Hopefully uh, I can get that figured out. this because I already cut that twist tie so I have to add this one in. You can always fix stuff. This one this way. to go. Oops, I need one more cut. Oh, this is frustrating, you guys. Um, no, this I got, where did I get this? Oh, I found this at my wholesale place in South Carolina. I'll have to look and see if they have it this year. Yeah, I think, um, I think a lot of people are having issues with Facebook and all kinds of stuff so let's check that one out um I don't know what's going on but I am mama mia this one needs to be moved this one needs to be moved That one in the wrong twist tie. 
Yeah, I don't know. I didn't have any issues last night in the group, but I didn't have any issues Tuesday night. But for some reason, the night's the night. Oh, he's in Philadelphia? Tonight is the night for problems. I guess it's my turn. Okay, fix that one. Yeah, I love this ribbon. It's really pretty. Yeah, this is, I got it a wholesaler I found in South Carolina last year. And I plan on going back again this year when I go. So hopefully they'll have it. Alright, so I need to cut two more of these. Let me get this set where it needs to be. This needs to go there. Trying to get back to your comments. The white one pulls in the color from the shirt. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I like that. The white stripe one. That's why I changed it up. You know, don't be afraid to change your stuff up that you get. You don't always have to, you know, keep your signs and everything exactly the way you get them. You can change it up. And that's why I thought I'd give it a try. Oh, cool. I need to cut two more of those. Sixteen inches. You guys, it's like a glitter fest in here. I have glitter all over me. It's all over. All over, all over. That song all rolled over and one fell out. <laughs> and the little ones roll over. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. I think I'm a little punch happy tonight, you guys. <laughs> I know, aren't they cute? And they're just adding a little touch of color, you know, that we need instead of all black and orange. I thought we'd add a little color. And that one I need to add another um, tie to also because I cut that one. Last one, last one, last one. Oh, of course, I can't get to go in. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Phew. go the witch is in <laughs> okay I think where's my, my spider's at I think I'm just gonna add a couple little spiders here and there and then whew, sweating you guys glue that sign there <sighs> What do you think so far, huh? You liking it? Let's see 
if I can see your comments here. Okay. Ugh. All right. Once that gets going, we will finish that up. Anybody have any big plans for this weekend? Hopefully that'll get going soon. Okay. Again, I apologize for all the issues. Hopefully I will get it working before next week. See if I can figure out what's going on with this. Get some lime green ones, some orange ones. Okay, let's see if this is done yet. Not yet. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. Oh, you're watching the granddaughter. You're a busy girl doing that, huh? Alright, now, when I'm using the spiders and stuff on Reese, um, you know how the glue kind of gets stringy and you see the, the um, glue strings and stuff? I don't mind singing, seeing the glue strings because with the spiders, it kind of makes it look like um, the spider web. So when I am doing the strings... I kind of like to see that with the spiders. So I kind of like to see the stringy part of it when I'm putting them on. So I don't mind seeing that when I'm using the spiders. I don't know if you guys can see how um, you can see the strings of the glue. I like seeing that when I use the spiders. And I'm just going to put a couple here and there. And I'm going to really use a ton of glue and hopefully kind of see some of that stringy stuff from the spider. Because I want to see it. Okay. Put one over here. See how you can see all the strings and stuff from it? I want to see that because you want to see kind of look like he's doing his web thingy. Whew, but don't burn yourself. Alright. I'm just going to put a couple here and there. You put a purple one down the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see the strings or not. just burnt my finger. I just want to hold it on there make sure they're on there good. Purple one down here. And again, I want to use a lot of glue so you see the stringiness of it. Put it on his little legs. On his feet. Okay, put it down here. You see how this you see the strings? I don't know if you can see that or not, but I kind of want to see that when I'm using the spiders. Okay. I think that's good. What do you guys think? You like it? Alright. Fix it up. I'll fix the ribbon tails here. You put some smaller spiders around. 
I have these little baby spiders. Maybe I'll put a couple around. Let's see here. Get a couple of these. And a couple of these around. couple here and there. Let's get a purple one up here. I did have some of these little um, spiders in my shop too. I don't know if there's any of those left. I know the other night there was, but I'm not sure if I have any of those left or not. These will hold in there good once you get the glue kind of stuck there. Okay, just put a couple here and there. Get another little, let me see, I'll put a, get a little orange one over here. And you can really, you can kind of go nuts adding all these little spiders and stuff, so. or as little as you want. You don't have to add them at all. Okay. we're done. Like I said, you want to make sure they're stuck on there nice and good. Kind of want to give your uh, wreath a shake once you're done and make sure nothing's going to fall off. I know how you test stuff. Um, the solar, they, I was selling them in my shop, Nicole. I think I still have a couple of those left. At least I did. If you want to check in my shop, I did have them in there, Nicole. Of course, nothing's going right tonight, so. <laughs> okay. All right, let me see. Stings. All right, let me just check here. Make sure everything looks good. Let me see. Yep, I have three more sets left, Nicole. Three more sets of those little spiders left if you want them. And I called my wholesaler to see if I could get more, and they are sold out. So I cannot get any more once they're gone. Okay. All right. Okay. That is it for me for tonight. And here's...
that's what it looks like. Thank you all for sticking with me. It was a crazy night. Hopefully I will have everything figured out by Monday night and it won't be so nuts. So thanks for watching. Hopefully it won't be as crazy Monday night as it is tonight. <laughs> But we'll see. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. And this will be for sale in my Etsy shop as soon as I'm done here and take some pictures of it. So if anybody wants it, it will be in my shop. Oh, good. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful evening. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for all the craziness. Um, and I will see you guys later. Bye.